And we'll be back right after this on Sportsnet 590 The Fan. What do you mean Tebbit's retiring? Didn't he retire like 10 years ago? <sighs> I am not doing a video tribute for Tom Tebbit. That's T-E-B-B-U-T-T for the check. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Do you understand that you cannot go to Wimbledon dressed like that? That's right, yeah. <laughs> Here we are at Les Deux Stations, the two stations, and a long time ago a young Canadian journalist, me, used to stay here in one of the rooms upstairs for $7 a night, and they had Turkish toilets, which is our two spots to put your feet, and a little round thing that uh, serves to, you can figure that out. How hot is it? It's, uh, it's hot as boss. And you just bought something at the U.S. Uh, boutique? Bueno, muy lindo torneo. El US Open un gran slam que todo mundo viene a, a ser espectadores de... Grande, grande amigo, Roger Federer. Eh, Son Federer. Sí, una Bravo. gran persona, muy humilde, sencilla. Bravo. Uh, gracias. What do I miss most about Tebbit not being around? Peace and quiet? Hey, Tom. Well, it's been great through the years sharing time with you at a tennis events. Um, probably my favorites were those little quick little conversations we had sometimes when you'd come down courtside to sit in that little media row near my courtside position for ESPN and kind of have little whisperings and talk about things that were going on. Um, wish you all the best. It's been just great to share so many amazing memories and um, enjoy. Once, especially once this pandemic's over, go for it. Get all that bucket list stuff out of the way. Tom, you were immediately kind to me from the moment I showed up on the tennis tour, and I'm gonna miss so much talking about our shared love of hockey, of tennis, of tennis gossip, and especially also those deviously tough tennis trivia quizzes of yours. Looking forward to seeing you sometime soon, hopefully next time you're in DC. Congratulations on a great career. Rest up and be well. Hi Tom. Well, we all know that summits arrived in Australia when little Tommy Tebbit comes bouncing into the press room in his shorts and his polo shirt and a baseball cap and a little lemon sweater tucked under his arm. Uh, Tom, you've been part of the Trengov clan for so many years, rooming with my dad and having many meals at the fam with the family. Um, we're really going to miss you this year. You've worked in broadcast, print um, and digital presenting your slam dunk fearless forecast on the Australian Open website, all without possessing a mobile phone. This, of course, made it very tricky last year when you met that girl on the tram who you helped so nobly. You got her number and then you made me ring her up from my phone. So you're always asking me for gossip and now you're the talk of the town. I can't believe this is the end. You're too good to hang up your rackets, of which you have cupboards full um so i'll see you again soon on zoom and when the world opens up you'll be back down under i am sure sharing many more happy hours with us at the ao you know how many nights tebbit skipped out on dinner on the road because he was writing tommy t congratulations on your retirement i'm very excited for you thank you for welcoming me in to the press room even though i'm just a little bit younger than you you taught me Daily ice cream at the Australian Open, which I will always remember. But honestly, thanks for showing me the way for really um, being an example of hard work, but also not taking it too seriously. So see you around. Hi, Tom. As we know, you pretty much invented Canadian tennis journalism, and we're lucky that you set such a high standard with all the interest and knowledge you brought to the game. You've influenced everyone who follows and writes about it in the country especially to make sure that we get the score right. So thanks, Tom. You're a tennis writer's tennis writer. Tom, congratulations on an incredible career. I'll always be grateful for the time you took to have some conversations with me and show me the ropes when I first started on the tennis beat. Uh, I always enjoyed reading your work because I usually learned something. Thanks so much for your time and your efforts on behalf of Canadian tennis and best of luck and enjoy retirement. To put it simply, Tom Tebbit is a legend. No one has covered Canadian tennis the way he has. He shared his love of the sport with tennis fans, but he's also helped grow the game and tell new stories over the years. Tom, 
You're gonna be missed. Retirement's gonna be good to you though because you can spend more time actually playing tennis. Just don't retire the sweaters. That's all I ask. TT, they're only giving us 30 seconds. You can't sum up Roger Federer's career in 30 seconds. And you've worked twice as many Grand Slam tournaments by my cap. For me, you, not Roger, are the ageless wonder of tennis. But word has trickled south, despite the closed border, that uh, you are more interested in playing tennis these days than covering it. That's sad news indeed, my friend. So I want to raise a glass and, and toast you, Tom, dear Tom, my tennis buddy, my tennis inspiration, to all the great matches and all the blown deadlines past. I wish I could have blown this one and held you out of retirement a little bit longer. But it appears you really mean it. You've had such a great run and meant so much to tennis and so many people in the sport. And uh, I'll think of you so often. Courtside at Wimbledon, late, late night at the U.S. Open or the Australian Open. But above all, when the light starts to fade at Roland Garros and the shadows go across the clay. That's the moment, that's the Grand Slam tournament you were born to cover with your bilingualism and your love of France and Paris. Et ton affinité pour le déjeuner un petit peu arrosé that made your Quebec radio broadcasts all the more piquant. It was great to be your neighbor. Bravo, mon ami. I'll miss you so much. Hello, Tom. Nico here. I heard you're uh, moving on to other things. And I just want to say it's been a pleasure working alongside yourself and your team all these years. And I wish you all the best for the things to come. Stay healthy and stay well, my man. Don't get too close to me. Okay. Be far away. <laughs> hey, Tom, uh, it's your favorite Can-Am, Jesse here. Uh, just wanted to wish you all the best in retirement. Um, gonna miss seeing you around the courts. Definitely will miss seeing you around the media side of things. Uh, always enjoyed my time when uh, sitting down to talk with you or getting a chance to uh, you know, talk about Nestor and make fun of Nestor together. I would definitely uh, miss that for sure. But uh, best of luck in retirement and uh, wish you all the best, my friend. I heard you know the story of why this is called the dog and fox. Well, I think you know that story too. No, I don't, I don't actually. You seriously don't know? I one? don't know, no. Well, it's pretty obvious that uh, when you start your evening here, most of the girls kind of look like dogs, and uh, after a few drinks, the foxes come out. Oh, is that it? I thought that might be too much information. We'll see. Yes. Anyway. I can't believe you made me say that on TV. <laughs> Tommy, it's about time. This has come from someone that knows what it's like to carry on for a little bit too long. I'm just kidding. Congrats on a great run. Definitely the best in the business. I know we don't always see eye to eye, but it was a pleasure working with you all these years, and I'm sure we'll see you at the lawn when you're yelling and screaming at uh, the people beside you in the next court. All right, have a good one. Congrats again. Hey, Tom, Jeannie Bouchard here. I just want to wish you a happy retirement. Good for you, I'm happy for you. I hope uh, it's everything you wish for and more, and we will miss seeing you around the tennis tour these days. Hey, Tom, I wanna to congratulate you on a great career. Um, Gonna miss a lot of having you on tour. Um, I'll miss uh, your outdated clothes. Uh, I'll miss the talks we've had, and uh, even sometimes you, I'm sure, uh, reporting a lot of news to me that is all new to me. So, uh, you know, I'm thankful for everything you've done for tennis in Canada. You've covered it for so long, and you were telling me that you've been going 30 or 40 plus years to Grand Slam. So. That will definitely be missed, but one thing I will not is some of the quirky questions. Um, some of those awkward, long, silent pauses at press conferences will not be missed. So thank you for everything you do. I congratulate you on everything you've done, and I wish you all the best. Uh, looking forward, and I hope to still see you around. Tom, we've known each other a long time. Uh, we've been mortal enemies for a long time. We've had a lot of laughs for a long time. Uh, wishing you well in retirement. Um, I have a hard time believing that you're actually going to retire, but I hope that uh, the next chapter treats you well. I hope that you will stop making bird noises when you're outside of restaurants in the middle of streets in random cities, and uh, look forward to clinking glasses with you soon. Congrats on a hell of a career, amigo. Wishing you the best. Oh, look who we see. Our friend Jan Willem de Longa who works with the Dutch Federation. John Willem, ciao. Thank you, Tom, for being such great company wherever we met on the road. 
you added so much color both to your writing but also to the press room you worked very hard but at the same time you always made time to share the latest insights and also your wisdom and to me it really feels like a privilege to have worked in your era it's time to say goodbye now tom i hope to see you once again at uh, wimbledon and before i leave i want to say one thing there are some other dutchies that will never forget you bye bye tom bye bye tom hi tom robin hasse here uh, in canada better known as my name is robin um, i heard you're going into retirement congrats with your career um, and uh, enjoy uh, the next chapter of your life um, the one thing i'm gonna ask you though is uh, keep doing those vlogs good luck and uh, hope to see you uh, somewhere at an event maybe as a spectator bye bye hi good morning from holland this is uh, christy calling for tom you recognize this one um it, uh, we go a long way back, me as a player, you as a journalist, and then finally we met when uh, we were both working for media uh, at Wimbledon. Um, it was um, a great pleasure meeting you. Um, because of you, I also, of course, could follow the Canadian tennis a lot more than I could before, because you were very active on social media. I will miss that because the news got to me that you are going to retire. Why? Um, First of all, you're way too young, in my opinion. And second of all, you're good. So I will uh, really miss uh, all your stories about the Canadian tennis. Um, I wish you all the best. It's not going to be easy in these times, of course, with the pandemic. I hope um, uh, you're not in a complete lockdown there in Canada and that uh, soon the world will be um, going back to normal and that you can really enjoy your free time. Anyway, that was my message um, from Holland. It was great knowing you and I hope in some way you will get um, uh, in touch on social media and we can follow each other a little bit. Uh, from now, bye bye from Holland and enjoy your time. Bye bye. Hey Tom, I heard that Florida is the place to be. I know a lot of tennis courts open here for you. Now I'd like to thank you for everything you've done, all the experiences we had, all the fun blogs we had too. All those travels, all those memories will stick with me. And I'd like to wish you a happy retirement. I don't know if it's the first or the second or the third, but happy times and uh, wish you the best. <laughs>